everybody, my name is Haragi Dion, and welcome to Fatal 12. So this is a anime visual novel game. Um, it's supposed to be like a mystery, um, I don't know if murder mystery is the appropriate word, I haven't played it yet, but um, it looks really interesting and the art style looks really cool, so I wanted to try it. I have the guide up, so if we have a choice to make, I am going to make sure we get the true end. <laughs> so, but. She's adorable. I love the main character, the girl to the right. Her, her design is super cool. <laughs> the fact that she says that is funny because this is like set up so much like Duncan Rampa, um, where all these characters show up in one spot, and in the other game, it they all are meant to kill one another. Like they they set them up to where they can't leave until they kill each other, but in this one, it's like. She's like, no, no, we're not gonna kill each other. Like, haha, that would be silly. It's, it's like totally poking fun at that other game. That's a really good picture. Like the artwork in that. Yeah, don't, don't try to uh, blackmail her. Mm -mm. She's gonna, she's gonna kill you. Also, that that background music. Yeah, I'm one of those people. Like, I'm a huge bookworm myself. But if I do not feel in the least bit interested in what I'm reading, I I I won't read it. Like, I just it just passes over my head. Like. Um, like I took a class in college, it was it was uh, anatomy class, and that stuff just goes right over my head. Like I just I can't focus on it, and it just it's like learning another language to me. Like I'm just sitting down and someone's speaking like um, I don't know a foreign language, and I'm like I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> like. Oh. How could you hate Sonya? She's so cute. If she's seriously, like, uh, by some twist of turn, becomes like a serial killer, I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> Everything I know is a lie. All the cutesy ones are evil. It's fine. It's fine. She's jealous, is what's happening. She's very jealous. But Sonya's like way younger, so is she? I don't. I don't think she's well. I wouldn't say way younger, but she is younger. She's also another, you know, person in the game, so. It's that's why another reason why she's worried. Also, about another reason why Rin uh, might look scary is because in Japan, when you dye your hair an unnatural color, which to them would be like um, blonde, um, you know, green, pink, whatever, it's uh, kind of a sign of rebellion. Um, so they like the fact that you know her hair is dyed in that you know, segment, and might might also be a little scarier because she's considered rebellious and it's also a sign that a gang and gang people do. And, uh, what's the other, um, term I was looking for? Their gangs are called Yakuza, but it's, um, it's just a sign of, you know, a troublemaker, generally, but 
doesn't necessarily mean it's just because they have high standards over there and it's just a huge um they 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 have a very like respect based culture so to do something like abnormal like that is considered an act of disrespect because you're disrespecting your heritage i guess i don't know don't you always skip breakfast me too like i can't eat breakfast anymore my stomach's just like nah fam you can't have that so i have to wait till like i usually get a small snack at like nine o'clock and then i eat at like 11 or 12 because i get but by the time i get to lunchtime, i'm like so starving if i don't even get a, like a, a decision I have to make a choice then I'm gonna be mad because I spent like five minutes like <laughs> actually streaming trying to figure out how to get that over to that other screen I know it's a, it's the met the uh, Spanish word for bread but I, I think it came from somewhere else actually um, but uh, it is also the Hispanic and Japanese word for bread which is interesting um, and we're Back with Ringa and her health. So, everything's fine. Everything's great. <laughs> um, Mihara stood up, which was an interesting choice. She managed to get a card out of it. So, um, I think she just wants to have every all the information related to Ringa. And she knew Sonya had something. So, that's why she chose to um, eliminate her in that round. Which is an interesting strategy. Um, so we got some, a few more players left in the game. You got Rinka, you got Miharu, who are cooperating together. And then you have um, Odette and Frederico, who are cooperating together. And then you have Alan, and then you have the little kid, um, the silver-haired kid. And you have, well, he's not like a little kid, or she's not. Um, they're not a little kid. They're probably like young Young, almost teenager, if not, like, teenager age. Like, I'm, I'd am say probably 12 or 13, uh, but I didn't get a good look at them. But, um, and then you got the old man, who's number five. So I think we have, um, and there's another person, isn't there? Who am I missing? Um, right? Because only four people... Oh no, there should be two more people after that because only three people have been eliminated, yes? Because the first um, Divine Selection, nobody nobody was eliminated. And then one person has been eliminated every round. So it was uh, the one lady who we didn't even know in the first round. The second one um, and was... Um... Oh wait, there was. There was that one lady in the first round. There was the old man, uh, the Japanese old man in the, the second round. And then there was the um, Keiko in the third round. And then there was um, Sonya in the fourth round. So four people have been eliminated. So there should be eight. Um, so I'm missing, missing somebody here. Yeah, those are the two you gotta watch out for. Not really Frederico, but I mean, you mostly gotta watch out for Odette, and she's gonna look out for Frederico because they're partners. So, you gotta look out for both of them because you can't have Frederico without having Odette right now, and you don't wanna have Odette in your face. <laughs> and then there's Alan, too, who was hanging around. I haven't seen him in a bit, so. But I know he's somewhere around here. He's been digging into them. It's hard not to forget what they look like. Like, or it's hard to forget what they look like. They're just. They're. Not much you can really, uh, forget about that. <laughs> They're both, like, very tall. And completely foreign. 
おじいちゃんのことを探しに来たあなたおじいちゃんが出かけた直後だから僕が追い返したの<笑> The woman was tough, but the man was no threat. おじいちゃん。たまがんだ。僕は言うけど。前提が始まった時。わしと出会って。僕は自分の名前も。今まで何をやってきたかも。だから。僕は自身のカードの内容も覚えていない。僕はどうしてこの国にいるのかも忘れ
And they're also trying to eliminate Odette without Odette's knowledge. But she, I'm sure she probably knows that they're thinking about that. I mean, the goal is to eliminate everybody except for yourself. You know, get everyone eliminated except for yourself so you can live. Yeah, she doesn't give a, a flying, like fuck about any of them she's just like, she's working with Frederico, but Frederico's trying to stab her in the back too but she doesn't care she's like yeah we i've been working with you but you know what as soon as your goals like don't align with mine like sayonara man like i don't even want anything to do with you if you can't help me then you're gonna get thrown to the, the roadside that's what odette's like viewpoint is but she's keeping him around because she, he's going to be useful. Yeah. That is kind of true. Um, Japan is an island, or a series of islands, I guess. So it's, like, separated, you know, from the mainland. So, like, when stuff goes on in other parts of the world, like, generally, they just kind of isolate themselves. And they did for a long time, you know, in, in history. They just completely, totally isolated themselves from the rest of the world. They wouldn't let anybody in. And they, they wouldn't let anybody out. Like, they were just, like... They, they created this wall between themselves and everybody else. And that's something they do a lot in uh, their culture. Just because they they just have their own way of life. And they don't want anything else to intrude on that. Which is not a terrible answer. But at the same time, it's like, when you see other people struggling, um, you know, what are you going to do? Like, whereas there are a lot of other countries, like the United States, that likes to just butt into everybody else's business... Which is a whole other way of doing things. It's like, I don't think you should, like, be totally indifferent and not, you know, interfere in other countries. But at the same time, you gotta know when to back off and to say, hey, this is not our problem, you know. Or that sometimes you're making the problems worse than what they were before. I mean, there is some truth to that. Because it's like, the paparazzis, like, they... They try to get a good scoop from celebrities, so it's to keep. It's it's to it's mostly used as a way for the the paparazzis to make money, but at the same time, like they're also, you know, keeping them from doing things that they shouldn't as well. The the celebrities, which a lot of them, you know, they have so much money and shit, like they can get away with doing a lot of stuff without anyone knowing about it, but paparazzis keep them from doing that. But, is it really right to just go around following people and getting up in their business just because they're famous? You know, like, without any reason. Like, I just... I've always thought that was kind of stupid. It's like, they're just people, you know? Like, for that matter, he could go around following anybody and doing the same thing, like, just to keep them from doing bad stuff. Like, everybody does bad shit. So... That raises the question about um, how she lost her memories, like how she became the goddess of fate in general, um, how she's, you know, able to have these powers like this if she was just a regular person, you know? The twelfth. This is the twelfth divine selection. Twelve weeks, twelve participants, and twelve divine selections. Wow. And you're right, twelve. The clocks are set into twelve. I didn't even think about that in general. I don't know how that did not occur to me. Like, literally every number on the clock represents a person, a, a participant. There's 12. There's 12, like, numbers on the clock. Why did I not think about that this whole time? It's literally part 11. How did I not think about this? I'm so dumb. <laughs> My god. Okay. But, yeah, it does make sense, yes. The, the symbolism is, is really great. There, she is. She can link all of these worlds together from the, that where they survived. So, like, Alan survived in an alternate world. So, that's where he came from. Um, 
you know, uh, I'm just, I don't know why I can't think of examples, but you survived in an alternate reality somewhere, and then he came back because she linked that world to this one. So that's how she's able to link all their consciousness together, is that she was able to open up those portals to alternate realities where they survived. Oh my god, I did not even think of that possibility. So that's how she's able to do that. Okay, okay. Oh my god, that's mind-boggling. Oh my god, stop it with the cat puns. Stop it! <laughs> You're so terrible. Stop it. Oh! Leaf! The River of Forgetfulness! Oh, I didn't even think about the name reference! Okay, I totally know about the mythology. So, yeah. So Leaf, in, in Greek mythology, Leaf is a river that runs in the underworld, and supposedly if you drink from it, you forget everything. Um, about yourself and, you know, your past life and everything else. So, interesting. Interesting. That's what I just said. But I guess for people that don't know about the mythology, then they would definitely need to know. Yes. Indeed. Ah, so he is the one that's. So Parka is not messing with the memories, he is. So that's his game in this. Mm. Okay. I was wondering about that because, like, she is barely, you know, with all of, like, everything going on, she's barely able to run. She has enough power to run Divine Selection in the Dream World, but her ability only is only able to manifest in the Dream World itself. She has no power, like, outside of the dream world, unless she is tied to a vessel. Whereas he actually has a physical form in the form of the cat, but he doesn't, he doesn't have a strong enough presence to do what Parka does in the dream world, but he can actually have some sort of power with the memories outside of the dream world because he has a physical form. Albeit it's a cat, but, like, it's, it's at least a physical, some sort of physical form. He really did drop a lot. <laughs> I, I, it took me a minute too, cause like I was like, oh, what's this cat? Like, and it randomly pops up. But then like about halfway through, like I don't remember what I actually said during the stream or like the recording that I actually noticed it. But it was it was probably towards like port part um. I want to say somewhere between part 7 and part 9 that I really noticed. Like, somewhere in those three episodes, I was like, Oh my god, that's the cat! Because every time that cat cl climbs up on her bed, she has a dream about this guy. Like, it's just obvious at that point. So that's why she doesn't remember. He made her forget! Why did you do that? Now she's a f mm. Now she's, like, so mean. <laughs> Now she's a bitch! <laughs> like, you made her a bitch because you took away her memories! Well, that's why she didn't choose where they were going to be placed, but they were aligned with the most and, I guess, most and least likely to survive. So... I mean, that's not technically true, though, because, like... Alan lived much longer than a lot of the other ones in the middle, so... Mm. Changing fate, I guess, is the, the course of this. Um, the, the highest... Let's see. The highest numeral was the less likely to change fate, I think, and then the... For the... Less highest is the... I don't know. I don't know how it works. Of course, I'm not sure what they define as the highest numeral. Is that literally, like, it is 12 is higher than 1? Or that 1 is the first numeral so that it is the highest? Like, how, how are they counting the numerals that way? I don't really understand. But... I'm trying not to discuss this too much because it's, it's something that's boggling my brain and I don't really understand, but... <laughs> 
I mean, she was a little, little bit, you know, preoccupied with, like, death games and stuff, so I wouldn't just, you know, talking shit over there, Mal. <laughs> if only you knew. Ugh. I could never, like, be a student in Japan. I would just totally just go into full depression mode. Because it's just, they are so obsessed with grades and subjects and just pounding information into their brains. And it's just like... I don't have the time or the mental capacity to deal with this much, like, school. Like, this is ridiculous. And there is so, so much more other important things than school itself. Like, honestly, school is the least of your worries in life. Like, school should be the least of your worries in life, but they make it so difficult. Oh, Dad! Yeah. Oh, I love her so much. I still love her, even in death. Ah, yes! I miss her so much! Oh, I love her. She was such a cool character. Like, I just love that. Like, that she was like... Ah! Because, like, she was, you know, gung-ho and, like, really strong, but, like, she honestly had, a like, a really good side to her, too, even with all, you know, the pirating and the bad stuff that happened to her. Like, she was a person, like, you know. Wow, the raw emotion that existed in her, even, you know, with her bad personality, like, I, I just loved that about her. And she was just so funny. Like, I loved her humor. Yeah, fuck scale, man. Get him out of here. Oh, I love Frederico too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww, he ended up being such a sweetheart, like... Alan too, like, he ended up being such a sweetheart in the end as well. So Lefe made sure she wasn't alone when she died. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That's so pretty. Oh. I 
like that. That they did a huge summary with all the characters. I liked that. Because that means that, you know, they weren't just they they did matter because they their perception of her and her, you know, influence on them mattered. Philip is still died, but it was fitting. の中に行った時のことを隊長ははい。周りに私は今の世界のことを知りません。くす。それでいいのではないかい。僕たちは同じだ。君原は<笑> The final place. Mm -hmm. That's a good image. I like that. I have a cat on my lap right now. <laughs> Ignore that. It's a very cute girl. You get to see the ending with me. So nice. I have no idea what's going on though. <laughs> the life of a cat. I have a cat too, and she makes sure I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. Ignore the purring of my cat if you can hear it. Ah, that was so nice. Okay, so that is officially the true end. So this is like the best uh, possible outcome. Um, so in this one, there's actually another route that's called the Miharu end, where she actually confesses to Miharu. But honestly, I like that better because it's like, it's a true end to everything that happens and she gets to decide now that everything is, you know, finished, what she wants her answer to be. She gets to actually, you know, live and think about it all the while being by her friends and family. Oh, it's so good. I love that. Thank <laughs> you.